morning, children. How are you? I love, by the way, you know that I love you guys. You can be there for lessons. Good. Uh huh. Are we ready with our books and pencils? Mm -hmm. uh, we are supposed to read the following sentences and write them down. Here they are. Hope you did so. If there is any sentence that you failed to read, please ask mom or dad, or anyone who can read better than you, to help you read them out. Okay? Thank you very much. And you can always revise. Good. Hmm? Who can remember what we looked at yesterday? Yes, good. We looked at those nouns those singular nouns that have the same spellings when they are in singular and plural. Do you remember any of them? For example, we looked at words like species. In singular, it appears as species, and then in plural, it appears as species. Then we also looked at means. It does not change. It remains means and series does not change, it remains series. Okay? They do the same things. What they do in singular is what they do in plurals. And today we are going to look at compound nouns which change to plural by taking the plural form of the main word. For that, can we please share the success criteria? Uh -huh. <coughs> Sorry, I can tell that some plural forms are also used for singular forms. I can tell that some compound nouns change to plural by taking the plural of the main word. And how does this work? What are compound nouns? Do you remember those compound nouns? Who can tell me what they are? Hmm? Good. They are those nouns that have combined words. So we want to see how they change the plural by taking the plural form of their main word. Is there anyone who can give me any example of a compound noun? Uh, I have some examples here. Let's share together. We have mother-in-law. We have maid servant. We have master of ceremonies. We have attorney general. We have secretary general. We have man servant. How they change plural by taking the plural form of the main word. In this case, these are two words. Eh? But among the two words, we look for the main word and then look, give its plural. For example, mother in law. The main word here is mother. And the plural word for the word mother is mothers. So we shall have mother in law in plural. Mothers in law. Maid servant. The main word here is maid. I mean servant. So we shall have maid servant. Master of ceremonies. Masters of ceremonies. They are all important words. Attorney general. Attorneys general, secretary general, secretaries general, man servant, men servant, postman, postman. Remember 
are also here when we are looking for, when we are changing these singlers to follows, we, we either change a verb or a noun, okay? And not this here. In such cases of compound nouns, the plural of the main word in the compound is formed. You only give the main word a plural like we did here on mother-in-law, the main word was mother. So the plural for mother is mothers. So it has to be mother-in-law in singular, then in plural, mothers-in-law. Okay? Okay, let's do some exercise. Are we ready for the activity? Give the plural of the given nouns below. Ready, ready we go. Remember we have to read together. Grown up, grassroot, commander in chief, stepchild, by law, spoonful, court marshal, chief prosecutor, passerby, babysitter, father-in-law, salesperson, class teacher, person what I mean prison warden. Give the plural of the following singular nouns. People, this topic is very long, but we shall end here. There is still a lot to learn, but we shall do so in the near future. But for now, let us end here. Thank you very much for being good listeners. I love you so much.